Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this gorgeous customized nameplate which is completely handmade and I will share how to create these lovely clay flowers, how to make the textured background and how to attach your customized surname and the frame looks like this from back side so without any delay let's start with the procedure so here this is the beautiful flower mold which i am using today and this is by prima marketing and the design will look like this this is having very nice quality you can use this mold for resin work or any kind of clay work and for today's project i am using the sakura air dry clay this is very light clay and now slowly i am just filling the mold using my fingers on each part you have to press it very well on each intricate design and just fill each and every minute detail you can also use shilpkar clay or m seal on this mold So I have filled all the design and now I like to dry completely for one day. So it's dried. I kept it for 24 hours to dry and it's completely ready to use. Now slowly just bend your mold and take it out the design and can you see how easily the design came out? and all the intricate design has came perfectly on each flower and petal so our beautiful design is ready and in the same way i have prepared one more bunch of flower using same mold so i will cut it according to my design that's why i have created double now here i am taking this nameplate base which is having 4 mm thickness and on back side there are two screws you can hang it on the wall easily and the width is 12 inches and height is 5 inches okay and uh, you will get it easily on any online store i got it from the element craft studio now using this beautiful stencil by icraft i am going to make the texture on the background so i am using texture paste by little birdie and applying on the stencil using palette knife just spread it on all the design And it's done now slowly pull your stencil and ta -da -da. can you see how beautifully the design has been printed on the base it's looking very nice now I like to dry completely before going ahead so it's completely dried now this is my customized surname and I got the surname cut out from the same the element craft studio I have given link of their online store in the description box if you want to order your surname you can contact them now I am taking my flower and I am just cutting the parts according to the space and the arrangement since this is a paper clay and uh, you can easily snip it out using scissors so first I am separating the flower from branches 
if you have bigger space you can attach whole bunch together and in the same way i will separate the big flower from this bunch too now here i have roughly arranged all my flowers and buds and i kept my surname as it is because i will get to know where i have to attach the flowers and uh, there should be place to attach our surname that's why i'm keeping it as it is for now and now i'm going to stick my flowers and buds using strong adhesive i'm using fevicol a plus you can also use fabric glue for this purpose And this is done. Allow it to dry. Now here I am taking beautiful chocolatey chalk paint and coloring whole base along with the flowers using the same color. Here I have created my color combination palette, but you can change your color according to your requirement or according to your choice. and this is done it's completely dried also i have colored from both the sides with the same chalk paint and now i am taking pink colored chalk paint i have just mixed red with the white and taking very little bit on my brush and doing the dry brushing technique like this dry brushing means you don't need to dip your brush into water just take directly color and apply your color on the petals with very light hands don't put too much pressure and with this technique all the parts which have grooves will have the same colors as the base and all the raised part will soak the color and in this way you can create 3d flowers and it's looking absolutely amazing so in this way i'm coloring the another flower as well I'm not coloring whole flower just with very light hand doing the shading and this is done it's looking very vibrant i have just done two coats of pink color and for the small flowers and buds i am using yellow color chalk paint so doing the same process same dry brushing technique for this as well like this 
Now on the tip of the pink flower I have just added a yellow color similarly on tip of buds and small flowers I am adding pink color so it will contrast each other very nicely and also it will look like a same bunch like this now for the branches and stem i am using green color chalk paint so again doing the dry brushing technique and this is done now here i am taking gold color wax this is a metallic wax and taking little wax on my finger and rubbing on the design which we have created using stencil it will um, enhance the beauty of stencil and texture work more and also it will give little antique look to your work if you don't have waxes you can also use golden chalk paint and do the dry brushing technique on the stenciled part like this then i am taking my surname back and i am going to color whole surname using white chalk paint since my base color is dark that's why i am coloring it with white if you are using light shade in the base then you can color your surname using black chalk paint or even golden will look nice and i am coloring only the top portion of the surname i am not going to color each and every part I'm not going inside each alphabet just the top layer of the each alphabet And this is done. Now I am going to do some embossing on the surname. So first, I am using my Versa Mark ink and apply the ink on all over the surname. Then using ultra thick clear embossing powder, just uh, applying the powder on each alphabet. Tap the excess and cover each and every alphabet. like this and now i will heat set it using my heat tool so after heating it it is looking very nice very finished and it has very lovely shine since i have used ultra thick embossing powder so it is having very nice shine maybe camera is not catching it properly but in real it is looking very nice now in the center of the flower i'm just pouring golden color flower pearls taking out the excess pearls on my funnel tray it will give little real look to your flower i like to dry completely and for the finishing touch i am just varnishing each and every part so i'm using the varnish by 
little birdie and covering whole base along with the flowers with the varnish and this is done here in the center of the flower where i have added pollens i have just pour some varnish that's why it's looking white right now but after drying it will get clear and uh, your flower pulse will secure permanently now i am just going to connect my surname so again using the same fevicol a plus to stick this on the base like this and this is done now on the edge of the left and right sides i am just adding small peach color half pearls on both the sides here i have added these pearls like this so the beautiful and very gorgeous frame is ready the center uh, varnish is still wet but it will dry clear in some time and it's looking very gorgeous if you want to make these type of customized frames so you have now idea how to make this and it's very easy to make so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. I am waiting for your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.